everybody, it's Jimmy, Bill, and Andrew. <laughs> so it's getting longer and longer now. So we're trying something new, and today what we're talking about is, all right, so you decided to move to Florida. Eventually, you, you came from California, you were born here, I came from New York. Actually, you, came, you were born in New York too. But now we're in Florida. So people come here, what is the reason why people come here? And we're gonna talk about today is, now that you live in Florida, things that you could do. We're actually gonna do a little bit of a positive video. No. Yes, we're gonna do a little bit of positive video. Because not for nothing, there's things that you could do in Florida that you cannot do in other states. And I know you guys mm -hmm. just told me off camera not to say that because you not to compare it to other states. <laughs> But it's a little more difficult. So if you're in the Northeast, you know, I can think of a few things. So that's what we're gonna talk about. Fun things to do in Florida if you live here. And here's another one. Say you live, we live in Tampa. Where should you, as a Floridian, where could you go vacation, get away for three, four days in Florida? So you don't even have to leave the state. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a lot of places. And I, I explored the state quite a bit and I'm sure you've been all over the state too. So one of the things that you could do in Florida, I'll even start it up while you guys could get your brains turning and think of something, but I fish big time. But before I even get into that, do me a favor, subscribe. <laughs> it really helps out the channel, I'll leave it at that. I fish quite a bit. I fish year round. The reason why one of the main reasons I moved to Florida was for the fishing. And my wife didn't want to move here. She came kicking and screaming. And I told her that we will just stay in Florida during the fishing season. So I told her, she says, okay, when is the fishing season? I said, it ends December 31st and starts January 1st. <laughs> to me, that is a big, big reason why I live in Florida. If I couldn't fish all year round, I may not be living here. Okay, so if you're into fishing, that's one thing that's really fun to do in Florida. Give me one. Well, you have the beaches. You can go to the beach all year long. I mean, as Bill said earlier, it'll, the water will start to get a little bit colder. But you can also, if you have a pool, like you right. can have it heated. You can be in your pool all year. The sun is out here. There's 365 days in a year. The sun in Florida is out 385 days a year. Meaning yeah. like it's always it's sunny, sunny in Florida. It is. And then, you know, to hit on your point where you talked about the pool, people have to, it's not, it might be cold at night. So, you know, if you've got a heated pool, you could wake up in the morning and it's 38 degrees or 40 degrees, but then it's 68, 72, 74 degrees in the sun and you're fine. You have to layer in Florida yeah, but in if the you, winter. But if, winter, you, it's if not you have a, a 32 deal. degree day in Florida, it's yeah. like, it's for a five minutes. nature and it's like one night. Yeah, and it's like for five minutes. And it's yeah. all over the news. Yeah, yeah. it's literally between Frosted two. Frosted. It's between two a.m. and two ten a.m. And people are outside wrapping their bed, you know, blankets, the trees and stuff. Yeah, well, some of our free. Yeah, you know, they, they freeze sometimes. So the the further you get away from the water, they'll freeze. But yeah, most plants are pretty hardy. I figure if they don't survive, you're dead. That's the point. All right, so basically you're saying a fun thing is to go to the beach. Well, you go to the beach, you, you can have, like, it's a trop it's a tropical climate. So yeah. you have your pools, the beach, um, sporting events. Um, there's a lot of, like, bars, so to speak. With so now you're going, to, you're, you're just rambling on, making it, more <laughs> no, but, you're no. making it more difficult for Bill to think of something. No, no, good. but I'm oh, just okay. saying, it's <laughs> like, there's, there, you know, it's everything that you can have in a tropical climate. Right. And you, you know? can have it year round. Yeah, year round, exactly. Yeah. All right. Bill, give me something that you could do in Florida that normally you can't do in other states. Year round? Year round. Well, if you're into, like he said, the sports, like golf, you could do golf year round. Although, like in the summer, it slows down a little bit. So golf fees are a little bit less. So insider tip there, if you want to spend a little less money. You on might have a heat stroke. Yeah, you'd be okay. You get the little fan thing like you have mm -hmm. for your neck. Yeah, a little battery. Yeah, deal. but if, but if you're but if you're if you're a golfer, you know, you're a golf junkie. Yeah, it's you're not, not going to care because when you watch yeah. these these tours, these PGA tours. Oh, yeah. these guys are they're playing in ninety degree plus weather. Yeah, yeah, and there's water. You'll be fine. Don't worry about yeah. it. You'll be fine. You get used to it. Just don't do it maybe the first few days you're here. Yeah. If you move in August, probably not the uh, first choice. But you could uh, you know there's tons to you could go scuba diving year round here. Uh -huh. 
you know, which I think is cool. I like to dive. So yeah, that's cool. That, that is something. Yeah, yeah. something yeah. yeah. And in the cooler weather, the water clears up a lot here. So you can even see more, which is pretty neat. You don't have to travel as far either. You know, well, an another good thing about Florida is because we're so far down, daylight savings time, it stays brighter here later. Yeah. Oh, that's a big thing. Like, <laughs> so when I lived in New Hampshire right before I moved here, one of the reasons I had to leave New Hampshire is because of lack of vitamin D. I'm, I'm talking about medical. I'm talking about seriously, lack of vitamin D. Like, I would go out and buy those vitamin D lamps and it was getting dark like 4 But you didn't buy vitamin D. Well, the no, lamp. You got the lamp. <laughs> I got the lamp. He's, he's a tech junkie. Come on, yeah. we all know that. He loves his toys. Is. But, and the doctor said the best thing for you is to move to Florida. For And he was right. Since, you know, I got the blues, you know, getting dark at 4.15. I would go to work, it's dark, and I would come home in the dark. And it's cold. And it's cold yeah. and clammy. Yeah, you don't leave the house. No, I understand it. That's why you don't, you don't see and then the you sun just, yeah, once. Yeah, you just sit there and you just eat and eat and eat. Yeah. Like you're hibernating, you know? So that. That's... No, but here, even without the setting the clock back, all right, come, what do we set it forward again in October or whatever it is? I forget when it is. I don't know. Uh, uh, fall, back. Fall, fall back. Fall back. So it goes well, back. Well, yeah. Florida, they were supposed to just make it permanent, but. Yeah, but I'm not nice. holding my breath. Yeah, I'm not holding but, my breath. But for that. still, even if we, if we pull it back in the fall for one hour, so we'll take New York, for example. So uh, eventually comes December, New York will be dark at 4 30. Like dark, pitch yeah. dark. Where here it won't be dark until really close to seven. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's a, that's a big thing. Here's here's one. Um, the keys. I mean, I go down to the keys all the time. I love the keys. It's just like from Tampa, it's what like six seven hours. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's about four hundred thirty ish miles, give or take. So seven hours. Yeah, because one of the things you know that we could do pretty much pretty easy without taking a flight is we could take a ferry from what. Fort Myers? Fort Myers, that's, that's in my opinion, the best way to go. You drive to Fort Myers because it's not a, a bad ride, and then you jump on the the um, ferry boat, and then you can just hang out. You can watch movies. You I didn't know, even know drinks. they did that. Oh, yeah, yeah great. Right over here, Fort Myers. Go over yep. the Skyway, go down a little more south, and jump yeah, on. That's nice. But how, long, how far is Fort Myers from here? An hour and hour 20 and minutes. Hour, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes, give or take. So what we should do, we should shoot a video. Let's go down the Ford Myers, jump on that, go to the Keys, hang out, and then we'll come back. And it's called I've the Key I've West never Express. been to the Keys, so I've always wanted to go. Yeah. I've never been there. So let's... Yeah. Furthest, what is this, the furthest southern point of America? Yep, it is Key West. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, do, we'll, we'll, we'll do it sooner or later, but that's what's the, yeah. one thing you guys could do all the time. And not only that, but you got Miami, Fort Lauderdale. It's more of a party atmosphere than, you know, the West Coast. But Tampa has, you go to Sarasota, a lot of right. bars, a lot of parties down there, yeah. so like the beaches. Well, yeah, we got, we got, um, like I always see, on, on, I always stuff. see on another platform, people posting pictures of themselves in the water, hanging off their boat, drinking, like where is all of that going on? The so sandbar. That's, yeah, so there's different places So you got, Saint, everybody's got their little hub, right? You know, you got the sandbar, the North Bar, you got Three Rooker here. Um, and, and Three Rooker is really one Rooker now because... Three quarters of it is on the water. Just throwing that <laughs> right. out there. Uh, the storms keep changing. Then you go, you know, then you've got the, you go down into St. Pete and you've got a ton of different areas down there in St. Pete where people are hanging out because it's more of a uh, party atmosphere by uh, John's Pass. You know, it's just outside. You don't, you don't want to be in John's Pass swimming. But um, now is that because of alligators or not? Because no, alligators? No, 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 just no, no, John's Pass is just the current. The, is the current. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's like yeah. You, you don't want to. If you fall out of the boat in John's Pass, that current's taking you right out. Yeah, you better be careful. Don't even try swimming against it. Okay. Well, you should, yeah, you'd always swim opposed. So anyway, that's the fireman coming out of me. But you know, you but then you've you just it's water sports around here. It's tons year round. You can't really go wrong. Do even they do power sailing here? Yeah, they, they do. They do everything here. Yeah, when yeah especially by the Skyway. They yeah. do that by the Skyway, and then uh, the like kiteboarding and mm -hmm. things like that. It, that's a big thing over by the Skyway Bridge. And here's here's another one that you could do, and like you know they do it's baseball here. You know they they, they do what, spring, spring training, spring training here. Yep. If you want to go see them, you know those tickets would cost a fortune. You know back in the states over there and over here, you go in there pretty cheap. Yeah, yeah. The, um, we've got the uh, Blue Jays, the Phillies. Spring training games. Well, there's, 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 Yankees. The, there's the Yankee, the Steinbrenner Stadium, the Yankee yeah. Stadium of the Yankees, and yeah. that's right across from the Tampa Bay Buccaneer Stadium, if I'm correct, yep. right? Correct. Yeah. And here, here's a, another really, really cool thing um, when it comes to just s concerts. It just seems like Tanya's really into country music, mm -hmm. and it seems like there's 
big concerts coming here all the time. Well, you have that. The music. You have that. What is it? I might get the name wrong. Like the Mid Flora. It changes you know, names all, but it's the amphitheater. It's an amphitheater, yeah. the open where it's wide open, yeah. which kind of reminds me of like the Greek or the Hollywood Bowl back in Los Angeles. Um, and it's like, yeah, it's amazing. It holds like, like something like what, 15,000 people? Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful and place. And it's like, you know, you get bands playing up there yeah. and it's half covered and but mm -hmm. all open. Yeah. And you get, you know, let's be honest, Florida for many, many years, you know, even back from the 80s and stuff, they had the... The rock and radio stations here, yeah, you know, like it was. This is still, you know, you know, what did, what do they call it? Business in the front, party in the back, right? You know, everyone then mullets. You still mm -hmm. have that here, you know. It's you still got those <laughs> those rockers from the eighties. You do, you really do. Yeah, we had well, some good radio stations. If you're a retiree, you but know, you might be a retiree from the eighties, like you were growing up through the eighties and the nineties. Yeah, right. But like places like the villages. Once you talk about this, Bill, because you, I think you're so, moving to the villages. You keep, you love the villages. But isn't there like <laughs> multiple villages? There are. Yeah, there are, right? there's several. Yeah. Well, retirement communities. It's not just you're not buying into just your house and your little section. Right. They have. You could live literally live in the villages, well, which is a 55 older community. Yeah, it's like a cruise ship, but land because they have event coordinators. They have every club you can think of. You know, they got the uh, the the electric club and the you know the woodworking club and the knitting club and the sewing club and the, this uh, they've got everything there's always something but to is, do but is the villages like in the way like an hoa is like nobody can have a pool or can't have a pickup truck in there or i don't know what the hoa rules are um a lot of that stuff has changed though in florida just because of some recent law changes which but, is... do, but do those houses like since they all little villages communities yeah. they're do, very do, restricted yeah but do do houses have their own pool or is it you have to some go of to them do okay. yeah some of them some of them do and the, you know the, that's kind of the allure though is that they are restricted and they take care of everything you know you don't have to mow your lawn you, you know it's the same lawn guy like in my neighborhood i got it's the it's it just is part of our hoa the lawn guy comes and takes care of things so you don't cut the lawn in your backyard nope the oh, HOA wow. takes care of all that. Yeah, and they have golf carts. You know, yeah. everybody goes to the restaurants and the golf carts. It's, yeah, it's kind of it's pretty cool. It's so a, so. If you wanted to paint your house, do you paint it or does the HOA send it. someone in? No, some the HOA sends somebody. Oh wow, interesting. They took they put the roof on. They take care of everything. It's all part of my uh, HOA fees. Oh. All right, but, but here, it's a house. I get it. It's yeah. pretty cool. Here's another one. And I don't live in the villages. I'm just saying that's yeah, my name. Yeah, he doesn't live in the villages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but here's another one. Nature lovers. You know, we have. The Everglades for bird watching. Believe it or not, I just found out recently that Florida is like one of the biggest bird watching states around. We they have some crazy birds here. It is. Like what's that one really big one that everyone sees and it kind of looks like a it delivers the babies. The one looks like no no it's <laughs> the one that kind of looks like a, um, from Jurassic Park. It's like the gray one. It's got the long beak. It's a very like friendly a bird. Pelican? It's not a pelican. It's something in that family. We have I've osprey. Seen, yeah, it's that's what it it's is. Big old, yeah, yeah. big osprey. Yeah, and those things they got the big head. Yeah, that's huge. They're, they're massive birds. But yeah. even in my backyard, we got bobcats. You know, we got a whole bunch of different animals. Coyotes, like, bears. Yeah. But you have a trail by Lions your house. And tigers. <laughs> hey, that's another thing. What do you guys think about this one in Florida? You know, if you're into biking or hiking or trails, we have Pinellas Trail. Oh, uh, we okay. Yeah, the Pinellas Trail. That's cool. But it's. That's cool, you know, because you can go a lot of places, but, you know, in my head, if I'm thinking biking, you know, or trail riding or something like that, I'm thinking something more like California seems to be like, yeah, that seems pretty cool. It's too hilly. I like yeah. flat and I like electric. Well, you're, I'm going to say you're, you've got your electric bike. <laughs> but he, here's another thing I, I recently found out, um, and you guys will probably know about this because of your businesses. Um, they created a uh, rail line so you can go from like Tampa to Miami to Orlando, yep. Orlando to Tampa. Yeah. So you don't even have to get in your car and drive if you want to go to Miami. You just take the train now. I, ju I just found out about that recently, but I thought it was from It's like Orlando a triangle, right? Miami. So they're, yeah, they haven't finished it all yet, but they're getting there. It's almost done. Um, it's, 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 a, it's a pretty big project, but right now it's from Orlando to Miami. That leg is finished and wow. running. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and then, and they're doing and they're gonna go from, it's gonna be they're gonna it's go gonna from be, Miami to Tampa, yeah. then Tampa, Tampa to Orlando. Orlando. Yep. Wow, that's that that's gonna be huge for. for it's Florida. gonna be that's a big thing. That is gonna be enormous because yeah. then people can go literally. I mean, okay, if you want to go to Miami for the weekend with the family, and even if tickets are sixty dollars, you yeah. know, one way or whatever. Think if you had to sit in a car for what's from Tampa to Miami, it's got to be at least a six to eight hour drive, if not more. 
Right, with stops and everything. Yeah, about six, you, at least six. You know, and then stops. gas prices and yeah. not want. Uh, now you can just, you can almost go for the day. Right. Because it's only, what, maybe it'll take, what, two hours? Yeah, probably it's, it won't take long. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's going to be a really huge. cool ride. Yeah. You know, and you don't have to, you can do other things. You can relax, you know, and yeah, not have to worry back. about driving. Yeah, answer the yeah, phone. Answer the phone when, yeah. it, you know. <laughs> she loves calling me when I'm taking a video. Yeah. It's, she knows what time it is, right? <laughs> yeah. It's time to make the video. Time to make the video. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. If you're really into theme parks, Disney and stuff. Yeah, we've got, well, just local Tampa Bay, we've got Bush Gardens, Adventure Island. Um, Legoland over here? Uh, in Land... Or is that Orlando? Is it Lakeland? Lakeland, Lakeland? has okay. Lego. Lakeland has Lego Land. Um, we've got, and then you just go to Orlando, which is only an hour and a half away. Really, you know, you've got every, you know, it's got. Are you, what's the water? What's not the water park, but like the water? Sea Zero. World. Sea World. Sea World yeah, in sea World. Orlando. In Orlando. Yeah. 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 Islands of Adventure. Sea World. Bush. Gar uh, I mean, um, um, yeah, Animal Dis Kingdom. Disney. Yeah. And, yeah, you, and as a Florida resident, you get discounts, right? You just bought season tickets. I have season tickets, yeah. So what did season tickets go for? It was for both of us. It was a little over a thousand bucks. So it's about the equivalent of what it is if you bought season to go to like Disney in California. Okay, it's yeah. pretty much the same price. Have yeah. you been to Disney in California? Yeah. How it, is it? It's it's not bad, but it's nothing's like what's here. No, right. Even the Universal. Well, the Universal in, in California is nice because you know it has some cool stuff to it. It's got the Harry Potter and all that. But you guys, if I'm correct, which one has it? Is it Disney Universal that has the Star Wars exhibit? The Star Wars theme? Universal. Universal, Universal. Yeah. yeah. They don't, from what I remember, they don't have that there yet. Um, but the Disney, you know, everything here is bigger because of the land. That was built back in the 50s, early 60s. So it is a lot smaller. But the allure of, like, say, Universal Studios in California is that that's where the TV shows and the movies are made. Yeah. You know, we're here. It's Speaking about TV shows and movies, a lot more TV shows and movies are being made here. I see them all the time in Clearwater, Clearwater Beach. I see them yeah. filming. And well, stuff. yeah, because the, it's, it is cheaper. The permits are cheaper. Um, you get, you know, I don't want to say better weather, but yeah, you, you do have good weather. You know, the sun is out and you can shoot. Uh, and a lot of these shows do a lot of night shooting, and so you have very controlled nights. Mm -hmm. You know, because when it does rain here, and it doesn't rain every day, like everyone says at three o'clock, that's maybe that wasn't Wait, one time. It, it used yeah. to. It yeah. used to. It used to. Every day, three o'clock, it would start raining. It would rain sideways. Yeah, it, it hasn't rain rained. It rained yesterday where I live, but it didn't rain for about five or six days prior to that. Right. But prior to those five or six days, it rained every day at about between 5 and 6.30, but yeah, for 20 yeah. minutes. Right, and then it's done. Yeah, and, then it, and the yeah. streets are dry. Yep, yeah. yeah. In high school, we used to set our watches by it because we would get done with school. we go to uh, whatever we were doing. If we ran track, swam, whatever, we'd be done with everything by 5-ish, and then we would go to the beach and play volleyball. Sand yeah. volleyball, you know, that was kind of our thing. So we would have See, to that must have rain. been fun growing up because you're yeah. on the beach all year long. All year round. It was yeah. so much fun. So what else is cool about now that you live here in Florida that you could do that you can't do in other states? Well, I have a few friends that, uh, that live up by me that are big into motorcycles. Mm -hmm. And they go pretty much every two weeks. They do like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and they take off. Mm -hmm. And they go, whether they're going all the way up to like, you know, the Panhandle, well, they oh, go, we got Daytona. Yeah, Daytona they, Beach. Or they, or yeah, they, go, Daytona. they go down towards the Keys, or they go over towards Daytona. Um, you know, and they just take these little excursion rides, and it's you know, Florida has like a lot. Put it this way, Florida's pretty big. You yeah. know, it really is, and it has a lot of uncharted land, stuff that hasn't even been touched yet, and hopefully it never does get touched. Mm -hmm. um, but there are a lot of stories here and a lot of things to see. Oh and yeah, like St. Augustine, yeah. the oldest town in the country. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, I'm there all the time because that's Tanya's favorite. Um, one of one of her favorites. Um, she, she loves that place. And the food's not that bad around here. Everyone says like, you know, don't get me wrong. There's a difference between like pizza from Florida or pizza from New York or oh, Jersey yeah, yeah. or even California. I'm not a big fan of the food, and and I miss the food in New York. I got spoiled. And I could go to any deli in New York and get well, whatever I want. But he, here's a weird thing about delis. Those delis only exist in New York. There's no such thing as a deli in Los Angeles or California. There's it's no weird, delis. Right? There's no delis pretty much anywhere. Huh. The joke is, you know, give me a bacon, egg, and cheese on a roll. Yeah. That's when you walk into a deli in the morning and a cup of coffee or whatever yeah, yeah. you drink. That doesn't exist anywhere else except there. Why? That's, and the funny part is, all these people came from there. And they went to all these other locations. Do you think somebody would open up 
a, a deli. A, when you mention deli here to people, or even in California, they think the deli in the Publix or the right. Ralphs or the Vons, like the deli department, mm -hmm. you know, where you're getting your boar's head. And the funny thing is, like you get boar's head here, which you probably got, did you get boar's head here when you were growing up? Yeah, we got boar's head. Okay, but in California, boar's head didn't exist for many, many, many years. And then two guys from, I think they were from Jersey or Connecticut, filled up a whole entire, it was in the 80s, they filled up a whole truck of van, a refrigerator van with boar's head, and they went to California because they went on vacation there and they noticed nobody sold boar's head, you know, salami, a bologna, a mm -hmm. turkey. And they drove it all there and they gave it away to places and they said, tell me how it does. And they created their own accounts. And then they went to boar's head and said, we're going to do this business. And those guys are probably sitting pretty rich today. Um, because now they, it's everywhere out there. But for the long, I remember being in college there, and there was no Boar's Head. You couldn't find it anywhere. Huh. Well, here's something interesting. Cool. One a big thing about Florida, too, that we have Orlando, Tampa Airport, Orlando Airport. We have major airports that if you want to get out of Florida, it's pretty easy to get out of Florida. Oh, yeah. And it's easy to get in and out of these airports. Yeah, it'd be good airports. Yeah, it's not like LaGuardia and It's not Chicago, like LAX or JFK right. here. Yeah, or, yeah. you know. None of it. It's like it's very easy to get in, drop off, and get out. Yeah. And, and here's another big advantage about living in Florida is the cruise lines. If you're into cruising, going to Caribbeans, going, yeah. you know, Bahamas, whatever. Mm -hmm. The reason why is here just in Tampa, like say on a Friday I want to go on a cruise, I could go down to Tampa and I go to the cruise line saying, hey, do you have any available discounted rooms? And they just want to fill that stuff up. Right. Oh, you can do it right walking right up to the boat and ask them. And right you can get it dirt, dirt. Like, I'm talking about pennies on the dollar. You just walk up there and say, say it's a three day cruise, four day cruise. I don't know if it's still the way, but it used to be like that a few years back. You know, you go show up there and say, hey, you got anything available for today's cruise? They're like, yeah, you know. And I remember going on a cruise that was like $80 for three wow. days. And you can eat as much as you want. That's crazy. And and everyone else paid top dollar. Yeah, you just yeah. show up and you, you show up with a little overnight bag and say, hey, you have a room available. Hey, that's that's today's video, anyways. But do me a fair, comment below. Are we missing something? You know, moving to Florida, the benefits of moving to Florida. Do you have anything, Dad? No, 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 we're good. I mean, there's just tons of stuff to do here in Florida year round because the weather is nice. It gets hot for a little while, but you get used to it. Or like today, it's it's still August, but we're not we're under the shade and we got a good breeze today. Yeah, that's true. All right, do me a favor, consider subscribing and check out this video. It's either gonna be in this direction or this direction. <laughs> I picked it out just for you guys, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you and have a great day. See you on the next video.